Development Gold, Pacific Red, and Coastal. This one came down to the wire. Pacific Red already up 1-0. And then Donia Innis goes spin move, skip shot. How about that? To bury it. It's a 2-0 lead for Pacific. Then we feature the goalies. First, a Pacific attempt is pulled down by the Coastal keeper, Jillian Hemming. Then Petra Cherry stops this Coastal penalty try. Then back to Hemming. Tips this one out of play to end the first with Pacific up 2-0. Annabelle Mundilius of Pacific goes for the lob early in the second. It's good. Then a block by Coastal. Sophia Bonnell gets her team pumped up to score back-to-back -back goals from Emily Ramirez and Jordan LaCour. Coastal ends the half trailing by just 1-3-2. The third is all about Pacific. First, Genesis Jasper goes cross cage to find the back of the net. Then her teammate Alexandra Lurie shoots a beautiful bar in shot Pacific in front 5-2. Now we go fourth period. Ashley Gregor has long range on the lob. Then Ramirez is back with her second goal of the match. Coastal has closed the gap. Now 5-4. Bunnell blocks a long range attempt by Pacific. Then Ramirez is back with a hat trick. She shoots from the center forward spot. The crowd goes wild as she has just tied the game with 46 seconds to go. Pacific tries out the new rules here. Remember those where the goalie can come all the way up and be part of the offense. She puts the ball in play. Sinks this one on the ricochet, but hang on, there's a whistle blown. It will not count. We are headed to overtime as that shot was last touched by a defender after the clock had reached zeros. It's not long into overtime before Alexandra Laurie gets a pass inside and buries it. Pacific takes the victory 6-5 to five in sudden victory overtime. Afterwards, Lori about her team's efforts to take the win. It was a lot of fun, but it was all like a team effort, so it took everybody. We all worked together really well, and we learned over the course of the weekend how to play together, um, and we all just bonded. 